Welcome to the Monday, July 8, 2019 meeting of the Montpelier Design Review Committee. I will let staff and committee members introduce themselves. Meredith Crandall, staff. Stephen Everett. Eric Gilbertson. Seth Mitchell. We are advisory to the Montpelier Development Review Board. We will review the applications uh, for the evening and move them forward. And again, we're advisory to the Development Review Board. Do I hear a motion to approve our agenda? Motion to approve. Second. All in favor of the agenda? Put your hand. Agenda is approved. We can go forward right to the first application, 61 Taylor Street, City of Montpelier. Do we have? Have you come forward and? And just whoever's talking, if you can make sure you talk directly to that microphone, it really needs to be pointed at whoever is talking. Okay. First of all, I'm Tom Bachman, not Greg Cousins. Greg is in Seattle, so. Yes. And? Allison Friedkin, downstream. Okay. And describe your sign. So I think you, uh, I think you have our application. Uh, downstream is planning on putting in a one of their typical signs, it's four foot ten wide, two foot six high, two foot uh, to the bottom of the sign to the grade. And it will be located right on Taylor Street, uh, 30 inches from the inside edge of the sidewalk. And this is a typical sign that Down Street has uh, pretty much got all over town. This is their standard sign. So do you, are you clear where the location is? Yes. Okay. And it's just one? Just one side, yes. Double side. Double side. And that is one-way traffic into that uh, driveway. Is that accurate color of the blue, or is that a slightly darker than that? It's actually not the color at all, and I apologize. <laughs> I didn't realize that. Uh, I think it just depends on your printer, because like yes. mine's green or whatever. But um, I can pass around. I did bring a another sign of ours, the one up on Bailey and Baldwin, okay. and that's typical. So it's our our logo, our company color. So it's a maroonish at the, at the top and the bottom stripe, and then the middle okay. is white with our black logo and our colors around it. So. Okay do that on all of ours so that, you know, there's a... Yes. We recognize this just like McDonald's. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it looked yeah, a little, little different on the yeah. yeah. representation. Yeah. That's okay. Well, and you can hold on to that. Put yeah. it in That's a much nicer color. More. It's much more readable. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I can get that rainbow in <laughs> <laughs> Is there a, a sign or anything going to go by the housing lobby? Not, not, that's way inside. Yeah. So, no, at that point, hopefully folks know where they are. And I think that given the material on the, on the side of the building, we were not planning for a sign at that point. Any uh, elevations in relation to the building itself? Uh, we do not have to. We can prefer that. No, but the height of it is on the top of the sign. Four foot six. Four six. Four six. So, yeah. and, you know, the first floor of this building is, at that point, if there is no, that's where you're coming in. You've got the cantilever of the, of the apartments, but that's, you know, you know, or something insane like that. You know, the Transit Center has any signage that they're figuring out? I believe, I believe, don't quote me on this, that they are going with a, 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 I think it's what call like a band sign. So there's a, a part of the building that, that faces Taylor that is meant to have like the letters. And so I believe that's what they're doing. They are not pretty clear that they're not doing any kind of ground mounted. And that's if it, if it was a ground mounted because it's all in the same parcel, they would really need to be combined in multi-use, a multi-use sign. I don't think they can add a whole separate ground.
on mountainside. I need to double check the regulations, but I think that's the way it works. I feel like I saw a version where it says like Montpelier Transit Center. You know, they're trying to. Is there a separate transit center sign that's going out on the, the street? That's what that's we were just, I'm yeah. just saying that, that yes. we don't think there is. It's so it's not it's, Brown Mountain. It's no, just on the sign just on the band. Right. On the sign band of the building exactly. itself. Exactly. Yep. Okay. I, I wouldn't be surprised if elsewhere they have, um, you know, in the right of way, just directional signs when they do redo all the signs downtown. Okay. You mean the direction was in one way entering? No, I'm talking about just the. We had a Inf whole meeting. Information. In oh, informational okay. signs. Yep. Well, some of them are directional, but yeah. informational with some direction <laughs> when it's not clear. So the sign is not lit. No, it's not. Is there any lighting adjacent that is helping it, or is it just under the overhang? And it's it's the, actually, it's not on the. On the uh, it's not under the overhang, it's not but, under the and uh, Greg and I discussed that when we, you know, were designing the sign, and I said, do we need to have it lit? And we felt confident, given the street lighting in that area, the other ambient lighting, and looking at some of the other signs, like just past us is a, a similar sign that I think includes the bank, Capitol Plaza, and I don't believe that one, you know, is lit either. And, I mean, we would prefer it not to be, just from a, a maintenance mm -hmm. standpoint, and we felt confident that, you know, folks would still be able to, you know, find your headlight you're driving, although your headlights are, you know, illuminating ahead of you, so we don't really want to contribute to light pollution if we don't have to. Yeah. And is the sign reflective in any way itself? Or not that I'm aware of. No, not I mean, requested. Basis of a aluminum panel in the middle. Other than just being white. Right. <laughs> and it, the, the post bases are buried? Yes. They'll be on the side of the tubes. Where, where is the main entrance for the upstairs units? Either by stairway or elevator, is that oh, we're in the building all the, way, yep. all the way in the back? Yeah, Eric's got it right. And is there any signage on the wall back there? Well, that's what Eric was asking. Yes, and that I think would, that's what he was would asking. indicate, yes. Yeah. Um, I don't believe we were planning any anything at that door, but. Um, as I'm saying that, I can hear my property management department going, we'd really like a sign back here. So well, it's a big way in the back like that. You have to walk if you're walking to it, you have to walk past or even driving, you have to go past the transit center. And I think a you know, a sign that was maybe out so people could see it from the sidewalk where right? you have to go around the corner. I certainly wouldn't have a problem with that. Uh, or, I mean, you can always do it, but you don't need a permit or anything to do a sign on the inside of the glass. Mm -hmm. or, yeah, lettering on that. Yeah. yeah, I think that's actually, I, I guess I was, when you asked about a sign, I was thinking a sign. Now that I think about it, just like on French Block, we ended up, you know, doing lettering. That seems to be doing like a thing we're doing more cop doing more common is, you know, doing the vinyl lettering on the door with our, you know, our logo and the name. Um, so we'll probably do something like, like that. So we have this sign out on the street and it shows handicap accessible. Obviously there's an elevator back there. But is there anything that, I mean, the sign's up here and anybody visiting somebody there who might not have been there before, is there any way that they're going to know how to get to the entrance? Where they should park, or any of that, or so the the driveway is um, a one way. One way. No, the other way. This way. Yeah, you're entering this by the sign. Okay. And this is one way. Right, and you're not going. I got to come. I got around this way. Yeah. So, so folks come in this way. Mm -hmm. Now, if they are looking to pop. If they are residents and they're parking back here, because really yes. there's no visitor parking back here. If you're a visitor, you need to be finding, you know, on Main Street or whatever. So residents come in, they come straight through, and this is the big parking area. Mm -hmm. If you are coming.
coming through and dropping somebody off for transit, you come in and this is where you come under the building and back out. Um, so that's that's the flow. And as far as the question about you know handicap accessibility, um, again, if they're driving, that's you know all the way in. Mm -hmm. um, if again they're resident and they're looking for the spot. Now transit does have a couple of spots up here. Um, you know, for folks, um, you know, doing business with, with them. Um, but otherwise, in terms of using the, the path, right, the multi-use path, because that's kind of the other way in, there's not a separate sidewalk. Mm -hmm. um, that's, it's kind of convoluted, to be honest. Um, <laughs> well, well it is. It can't go through there. The big buses don't, the big, the big buses, buses don't come under. Big just buses leave you on the other street. side of the street. Yes, yeah. Really, really exactly. dull. These are just well, the little buses. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So on foot, folks are basically be coming in to this sidewalk and then accessing either the multi-use or, you know, cutting, cutting through. But it's honestly not a... I would think you might want to put a sign here that said resident parking only. Well, all the parking will be, uh, I believe there'll be signage at the actual parking that says resident parking only. So, you know, that'll all be signed. We need to do that because just otherwise it will be all filled with everybody. Are there a couple of handicapped spaces in case there you have a visitor who's, who's handicapped? Is there a space or two here that, that, that they can get into the building somehow? Yeah, Even the, a visitor? Yes, there are okay. handicapped spots back there. Okay. It's going to be an interesting experiment in traffic flow. I have a feeling. <laughs> so nothing that says you know, main, main entry or any sort of arrow on this sign indicating main entrance or... Well, again, it's a one-way. So, I, I, I mean, we could... Certainly stick an arrow on there, but it's not. Yeah, it's just a thought. I mean, yeah. it's, a, it's a sign that says it says, says what, what it has it to say, right. but then it's just like where where do you go? I mean, it would be more for people visiting than anything. I mean, it's once you've landed in your apartment. Right? For instance, we you know where they. Yeah. Right. Let's hope. We don't have too many incidents, so it's not happening. Yeah, I mean, I, I kind of look at the sign as more of a identifier. So you have somebody coming, you know, to visit you for the first time you've hopefully you've told them that they need to do street parking but in terms of just identifying where about the building is in general you know it's like rather than just like oh that giant new building on you know taylor it's this building you know and then so they'll need additional like i said information from whoever you know saying you need to park on the street there's not you know visitor parking in the back lot so so we don't, I guess, like, on one hand, an arrow would almost, I think, be, cause more trouble if you're not thinking it through a little bit. You know, if you did have an arrow, I think more people would pull in thinking, oh, I can park back there. We don't want to encourage, hmm. you know, folks to park back there if they're not a resident because it's, it's back in there. So. Yeah. It was just a thought. Yeah, no, no. Specific it's, it's, no, let's hey, think, think about it together. And that's, I appreciate that. <laughs> I don't think of it all. No way, you know. And this, the building itself doesn't have side bands or anything like that? Or there, is a, there, there is a sign band on here that will eventually they say Montpelier Transit Center. I'm not sure exactly what it's going to say yet, but we haven't applied for that yet. So the original plan was, so on the sign band facing Taylor, that was the transit center. And then on the, on the band facing the river was where... The bike path. Yeah, the bike path is where... We would have, but then we said, well, that doesn't make any sense. Because you can't see it? You really, right. Unless you're on us, top of it. Right. Yeah, I was sort, and I sort of felt like it was an either or. I didn't want, just because those are kind of conflicting looks, and so it just didn't make sense for us to do the sign band. We said, no, instead, we want a, a good size, you know, a prominent sign out on the street that clearly says what it is. So we, we passed on having that. So you have enough glass that if you chose to, you could add something similar to that from on the inside of the glass? Absolutely. Or, or, or the door. Oh, or yeah. whatever, you know, entrance yeah, or exactly. whatever you wanted I to say. I believe it's a, yeah. well, you've got a full glass, and then you, I believe there's a daylight next to it. So okay. And I appreciate that. I will make sure we get on that, because it's usually something I end up remembering after. Yeah. 
I, I think it's going to be confusing. I don't know what to do about it with signs because the transit center is really what's up front mm -hmm. and what you see uh, almost no matter how you come at the building. Yeah. People figure it out, I guess. And there's no sense of flipping the side to the other side, I take it. Flipping, flipping which side to the other side? But that's the out only. Yeah. The other driveway. Well, I think people would pull in. I think you bring in real traffic. I think so. Oh, if I, I saw I, a sign, I'd be like, yeah. I, I don't think, <laughs> I, yeah, I, I think Department of Public Works would get all over that. Okay. And there <clears> will be, there is plans to have an entrance, you know, a small entrance and exit sign. That's on the city to because it's their site. Yeah. But my understanding is they're going to put a small... But there's a sign here that says one way. Yeah. So the people aren't entering. Yeah. So, hopefully. I mean, honestly, uh, you know, we we'll live with it for a little while, and if we are feeling a need for a different or additional sign, we'll come back and have a conversation about it. I mean, it, it happens, you know. It's just, you know, just like think about how, like you're saying, people move around and what's going on. And, and more and more <coughs> things are getting delivered. Yeah, you know, absolutely. Pizza to groceries. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no, it's true. See, Shaw says a sign out, but you can get groceries delivered. <laughs> so, yeah, Jeff Bezos isn't doing it anymore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you better have a drone. <laughs> Landing pad, yeah, yeah I, I know. Any other questions, comments, or suggestions? I get the, the idea of <coughs> see how confused people get and then fix it. <laughs> yes. That's not exactly <laughs> as, as Allison well, said, you, if there's a problem, we'll come back to you. Well, you just take, back your plan plan take your best shot at the beginning and see how it goes. <laughs> so do we add in a contingency for something that's up front? Something, I'm sorry, so that's an on the... additional way. sign up front? Or, or, oh, we, by the, or is it just going to be behind glass? I, mean, I think we would just do it behind the glass. That's what we kind of the way the traffic moves through there. What was that, Eric? So, the way the traffic moves through is, makes it bit, bit difficult. Yeah, actually, interestingly, when the traffic comes in, they won't even really even see the front, the you know, the housing, housing lobby right. because it's, you know, the driveway is over here. They have to go here. all the way around there. But they don't, but it. that doesn't go around there. Yeah, they'd have to go into the parking lot to see the entrance. So yes. anybody just bypassing is not going to see the... Well, and even once, I'm just saying, even once you pull into, <clears throat> you know, parking, it's, yeah, you'd have to be in front. Uh, is there any uh, uh, room for a sign that, on this uh, wall where if you, you, you would drive by if you go looked at the sign and then drove in there and you drive by. It seems like a, a sign on this zero point. I know, I understand what you're saying. The wall yeah. that faces the driveway. Uh, to drag people to be like, oh, you got to loop around again yeah, and then yeah. go back. Well, just, just uh, housing straight ahead versus transit. Yeah, well, housing. Let me discuss that tomorrow at our, at our job meeting. I mean, that wall is stone, which has already been all laid in place. I but would hate to put something on that stone wall. Yeah. yeah. You know that... Uh, but again, <coughs> if we have to do it retro, yeah. you know, we do it retro. just laid out paths by just leaving the grass. And then, and then, and then building sidewalks where people are walking. We yeah. can do that is, here, too. Is this a trash so area? Mm -hmm. That's a uh, trash it is. It doesn't show up on this plan. What's this here, I guess? This little... Trash. It's right. It's it's. Uh, you don't have it on your plane. It's right next to. It starts right there. Okay. So again, what is this? Which one? So in that area, or is it a transformer, the trash? Yeah. So you're looking at this here. That's a transformer. That is. I feel like that is what it got changed. Yeah, it did. That was the trash? Trash is okay. Trash is right here. So that that is the trash area next to the transformer. Yes. Okay. I think it just got 
flipped from two doors opening that right. way to this way. one door opening this way, probably once we have conversations with the um, callers in terms of, you know, access for them. That. So it's a short wall or fence, is that? Yeah. It's actually a fully enclosed, it's, it's wall, it's got a roof on it. To, to Eric's point, is there any opportunity there for a sign? I think if if downstreet determined at some point they really needed to direct people in there, that might be a possible location. On that wall. <coughs> Just a thought. Yeah. or adjustments of any kind? Not at the moment. Anything they do on the door, we don't need. No, we don't right. need anything in the Sunday glasses. Which, like you said, given all the stonework and everything around, would be a, probably a logical place to put, you know, any further identifying signs inside the glass. And really a lot of the, you know, traffic movement signs that are in what is essentially going to be public right of way, we don't care about as long as we know where they are on the site plan. Yep. Okay. I'll read down through the criteria for the signage. Preservation or reconstruction of the appropriate historic style of the proposed projects in the historic district before it involves an historic structure. Acceptable. Harmony of exterior design with other properties in the district. Acceptable. Compatibility of proposed exterior materials. Acceptable. Compatibility of proposed landscaping that applied for in this application. Prevention of the use of incompatible designs, buildings, color schemes, or exterior materials. Acceptable. Location and appearance of all utilities. There's no lighting on that sign on no. the street. So not applicable. Recognition of and respect for view quarters and significant vistas, including gateway views of the city and state house, acceptable. Conformance with cityscape placement and design recommendations, acceptable. Compatibility with subject property and adjacent properties, acceptable. Shall not obscure significant architectural details, acceptable. Consistency and uniformity of multiple signs is not applicable here. Illumination not applicable. Pennants and banners are prohibited, not applicable. Individual letters of fixed painted or engraved directly on the building or structure are encouraged. This ground sign at this location is acceptable. All in favor of the application is proposed. Raise your hand. When, when is your opening? September. Yeah, mid September. So one of these rocks is signed that above. Right. My name on the left there. Do you want to get to the applicant? Sure. Literally. Application is for six Whit Place. Our applicant, Gertrude Prevost. Uh, corrected location map. Did you already get one? Yes. Get one. <coughs> and introduce yourself since I'm neither one of you is Gertrude. <laughs> what was that? I said since neither one of you are Gertrude. Right. Introduce yeah. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm our son, Michael. Okay. And I'm our grandson, Ben Prevost. This came to based on structural purposes. No, it's okay. Um, with the foundation work, mm -hmm. there's also some water leaking in. I think yeah. the property above and had a retaining wall down in this closet. Yeah. 
it down because it's not going yeah. to drain. Um, okay. So that that is another issue. There's also uh, as, as structural as far as there's been some uh, movement in some of the floor joists. Mm-hmm. So they're actually going to be going in and supporting that and leveling up as slowly as they're doing it. So the big area, I think I had attached scope here for what's being done from the quote. Um, is to replace the rock wall with the concrete foundation just on the driveway side. The driveway side, which if you're looking at this, assuming that's north mm-hmm. of the east. Okay. Just that wall, it was identified by Roger Brothers that that wall should be replaced. All the others were uh, structures. Um, so currently there is say granite veneer. I'm not sure how that's anchored. If it is anchored, bolted, it could just be Probably mortar just, slapped on there. It's just um, set on a ledge, probably. Yeah. The ledge in this, in this stone wall. Uh, I think it's uh, right on the stone wall. Well, it's, it's on the outside, but it's backed up. Yeah, sometimes it's, yeah. Just, that's just, yeah. that's it. They don't even build a stone behind yeah. it. So apparently that's granite. There are windows on that wall that are going to be removed, and then granite pieces are going to be inset to replace them. Do you need to replace any of the windows for ventilation or no. light purposes? No. Okay. Just to get it away, it's a pain. Causing the water. Yeah. Just to get off the, yeah. off the driveway. Yeah. Just, uh, yeah. Snow piles and yeah. everything else. Yeah. So you can see that there on both of these images, just mm-hmm. along that wall. And actually, the back part, which I just noticed and didn't even realize, there actually is one granite veneer that that will be installed as well. It looks like local stone, probably very granite. It could be what very stands to the same. <laughs> but it will match. Rogers is going to pour concrete. Yeah. Yeah, so he actually did the property below as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was, it was last year. Before. Last year. He did it last year. Yeah. He has a good method. Of you know, they're very good. Yes, they are. I think he just, just told me he finished one off of River Street as well. So I'm confident in his work, and I've heard from other concrete contractors that he's well, they've got to go pouring to concrete this. under old buildings for the last 30, 40 30, years. Yeah. 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 Um, now we did include also because we were considering this, but I don't think at this time that's an option because of the cost prohibitive. But we were going to ask also to replace this wall with so concrete blocks. Uh, is, now, is, are they the textured blocks that have the look of stone? Like, yeah, so it would have, it's not just your straight. Yeah, it's not no, a straight. it would have a decorative look. Yes. Um, not sure exactly. I think the peak groups they would just set them on the peak groups. And yes. Um, and then they have a cap that you, they can put on top if you want to raise it up depending yeah. on you know, height above ground and if you need some kind of barricade then you can put an extra level up that can set up a flat top instead of a big roof. Yeah. yeah. Which I think. So the permit is good for two years okay. with a possibility for an extension for one more year. So do you okay. want to keep this in the application yeah. as long well, as you can do it in the next, you know, you have to come back to me if you need an yeah. extension for yeah. the third year um, before before the first <coughs> two-year period expires. But do you want to keep in that request? Yeah. 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 Okay. I didn't realize that. Yeah, that would So what we can do, it does it say anywhere in here that it's a decorative probably no, decorative block it just says replace no. the no, I didn't wall with two by four by two concrete blocks. But we can include um, a decorative block. I know I see them a lot on highways. It's a decorative highway. stone texture block. Yeah. Okay. You have the Oh, yes, sorry. Yushi. Yep, I had it. it so we haven't received a quote from him yet. Okay. So that's what I was kind of waiting for as far as language, but making sure that if we get there. Did you talk to him about simply rebuilding this stone wall? No. Not. Um, 
is there any benefit structurally? No, it's just whatever. I mean, I think you're looking for longevity wise, replacing the rock with the concrete. Would this has been there a while. For probably Pro I mean, it's, it's well, we we had it done uh, uh, half of it, yeah, and we had the guy who did it come up and take a look at it. Gave us a quote for fifteen thousand dollars, and I said that's the way. I, I mean, he did half, which was only like thirty five hundred dollars a year, a couple years before. I think that he did the, the back half. Just a small portion of it. Yeah. So that is concrete. Yeah. It's not the best laid stone wall. Well, it's starting to sort of heave inside. Yeah. And you're putting drainage behind it. Yeah, yeah so he's, uh, I think he wrote installed drain on side of footing and daylight into existing drain. So that's where I think it'll help with the, the moisture of the curve foundation. So, so it's coming from that back wall. So it's all covered park up here in the back. So it's all much. So you want to give them the yeah. option of either rebuilding this or replacing it with the textured decorative stone or concrete block? This, this oh, is the one. This is the one. Building with that. Is yeah. What you're okay. I'm sorry. No, no, no. That's okay. In other words, you have the option to either rebuild this. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you dig up behind. You'd have to, you know, take it down and rebuild it. Yeah. Put it back. I don't think either, these don't drain it. Either dry lay it or, you know, put it back with some mortar to reinforce it with the crushed stone and drainage behind it to keep it from moving, or replace it. Okay. Or replace. I don't think water was building up and slowly eroding you know, that back edge. I, I mean, I, I would uh, talk to him about repairing that just that section of the wall. The rest of this is probably just about the way it was built. Yeah. I mean, it's... Well, yeah. actually, uh, the way it was built, it was... Uh, stone and the guy who replaced it <clears throat> didn't know uh, he put all the back back stuff on it in the back and it looked good for a couple of years <clears throat> excuse me but then it started to rain and started wear and tear and it started to sink sink on the back started sinking in towards that towards the house and stuff like that and we did half of it and uh that's still, that's still standing there, but the, the guy we who did it did the uh, the, for the half. He, he came back up this year and he said it would cost like fifteen thousand dollars, and that's that's unbelievable. It's too much. I mean, we have to try to do the foundation, and that's more important than. So anyway, like she said, you have the option for two years you can do it or not. Yeah. When well, you can extend it a year. So, and then if you decide to wait, you know, five years or whatever to come back and you know, do it, you can do that also. At least it gives you that window. Yeah. So I just said you have the option to either rebuild the existing stone retaining wall or replace the wall with a two by four by two foot decorative stone. Kind and of repair block. it too because this part, this front part of it looks okay. Yeah. I mean, it never was a really nice wall. And, uh, it does well, return on the side too a little bit. It's not as... Well, when we had the washout, uh, a lot of it went down to the neighbor's house. A lot of the stone. The guy used that to bring it back up. And I'd rather, to me, I'd rather either have the, the blocks instead of this because, you know, the way the weather is nowadays, the rain and, the, I mean, the Make last sure three downpours were. Good drainage because what yeah. you're creating is a dam. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I know, I know. I, 
and the water like, like he said, this. the, the uh, we had uh, a neighbor come up and he called the city up to have him come up to see if there was a water leak for the, yeah. for his water. And he said, no, the guy guy came up and checked it and he said, no, it was not the water leak, it was no water leak. It was, uh, they, they, they did some uh, tra trails, we did the trails, the drainage and on the trails yeah. and stuff. And I, to me, in the last three or four years, the water's been coming down. I mean, even if you get a little bit of rain, I mean, it, it's, a, it's like a river going through my driveway. Yeah. You know, I've, I've dug trenches that, I mean, trenches like that, just to, so it go down, get into the drain, just stay away from the house, but it just... Yeah, they could cover that when he goes into the existing drain. Like, uh, help when, when Rogers comes up to do the repairs on the, on the wall, the other thing you can do is if you've got enough land on either side of the driveway, um, we had an issue with one of the similar, similar situation. And on one side, we actually dug a trench about two and a half feet wide and about three feet deep. And we just filled it with drainage pipe and crushed salt. Yeah. And that solved it. I mean, everything comes off the, comes off the bank now. I mean, we put on, uh, on the layers of stone, we have fabric to keep the yep. dirt and stuff yep. going through. But at the same time, you can see water come off the hill and hit the edge of the driveway and it's gone. Yeah. It just it goes through. I mean, so we have that. Because my neighbor, he last well, this winter, he had that much ice on his driveway. And I was doing the same thing, checked that ice. That's not fun. Mm -hmm. No, it's not. Yeah. So anyway, with that option, any other comments, um, suggestions? Put repair in there, the option to repair the wall. We did. Oh, you have the option. Well, if you repair the wall, you don't even need a permit to repair the wall anyway. Right. Or we don't need to have any approved. Any, I just said here that you have the option to either re rebuild or repair the existing stone retaining wall, or again, or replace the wall with a 2x4x2 two by by two decorative stone face concrete block retaining wall. Sound good? Right. And then the rest of the criteria to apply to the rest of the application, preservation or reconstruction of the appropriate historic style of the proposed projects in the historic district involves an historic structure, acceptable, harmony of exterior design, acceptable, compatibility of proposed exterior materials, acceptable, compatibility of proposed landscaping, and then proposed here, Prevention of the use of incompatible designs, buildings, color schemes, or exterior materials, acceptable. Location on appearance of all utilities, not applied for in the application. Recognition of and respect for view quarters and significant vistas, not applicable here. All in favor of the application, put your hand. for 37 Berry Street. We'll be here again for another one. Changes to the approved paint color scheme. Yeah. So first an apology that um, we did not follow the proper procedure and when we made a, a change we did not you know, notify you folks and I, I do apologize for that and we'll we do better next time. Um, so that being said, we submitted our new, or I don't know what they call it, an amendment, but a revised application, and um, I guess just here to discuss the changes. Um, so I, have some, I do have some 
nice color copies this time. <laughs> Well, I have to admit the new color combination certainly stands out. <laughs> well, and I think that um, copies, everybody's various copies don't do it justice. Here you go. So kind. Um, so now that you have them in front of you, um, so there's one labeled option one and one labeled option B. So uh, down sort of at the bottom. So the one label, uh, so first of all, the three colors are the same. That that part didn't change. We're not introducing new colors. Um, we're just moving around where on the building the colors are. So option one was what was approved, and option B is what <laughs> got painted. Um, and the primary difference is on the panels across the front above the commercial portion of the building. Um, those were originally supposed to be the, the rockwood red, and instead they are the shutter green is the color. So to me, that's the, the main thing that stands out. Um, I think also the, around that front door, it's flipped in terms of the trim color and the door color. You can see, sort of a, if you look one to the other real quick, you'll see they sort of flopped those two. And then lastly, I believe they were supposed, initially we talked about painting the window, uh, actual, you know, mullions, the green, and now the window actually are not being uh, painted a color at all. They are white, that, that um, is what, is the way they came. They were not intended to be painted. That was a, a little disconnect in that, so. I'll stop there. I actually think having those panels on the commercial block in front, a different color from the house, is a good thing. Oh, thank you. So, they both look fine. Yeah. And the green, the dark color down below actually really grounds, like you said, that it really yeah. grounds the building mm -hmm. and it kind of distinguishes this, it yes. from, from that. Yeah, I think a little more pop was probably the, you know, the I mean, I do not need so to tell this, this group the that... Painter, the painter's gone wild or what? No, 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 I don't want to know, not at all. No, the architect did give, you know, new direction. Uh, uh, I, I mean, you know, I think, let's see if there's actually, well, that, you know, the date on the original, you know, 10, 18, 17, that's probably when we, you know, came to you folks for permission, and then here we are at 719. So, you know, a lot of times we're picking paint colors so early on in a project, you can't help but often go back and think, oh, I wish I had done it slightly differently. And I think this is one where we acted on that, but, you know, didn't communicate that to you folks. So, I also was just going to say, and I, I don't think I need to tell this panel, but um, you know that color is subjective. I mean, I appreciate your support, but there are people out there who don't like it and who think it should have been a different, but we all know that. Process that at least it's you know, is the, is the base painted? Mm -hmm. And that's the rock wood? Yes. Is there any reason why you wouldn't make that the shutter green? Out of curiosity? I don't know, to be honest, and I, I actually am not good at color. I don't make these decisions. Well, we're talking about separation. Yeah. And, uh, I'm sure there's... Further define the separation, for sure. Yeah, but I'm going to guess there's something about, like, tying the building together. I don't know. I, I'd be grasping at straws on why they didn't do it. It might be a difference in material, too. And like, I, knew, I know it is a difference in material. The upper are some panels, the green, you know, and the bottom is, I want to say... I'm not sure if it's concrete, but I know it's not these panels because these panels were replaced, so I don't know if it's a little bit of a material as you paint it different. I, I honestly don't know. Could, could it also be an issue where is it down there is really, really dark, you're going to get splashing, it's going to show up more, I don't know. I don't know if this is that big of a difference. I'm just, I'm 
just look. I know we've loud. tried light colors, we've tried dark colors. <laughs> it doesn't colors. matter. Buildings get <laughs> dirty. <laughs> that is just yeah. Unless you're going to paint it like on my gray. Is, is that brick by any chance down there? I'm looking at the the lines on the on the drawing. Oh, wow! I have to get out my glasses to see the lines. On and if I look at that oh. at that lower panel on the like on the on upper left hand corner, on the big one, it looks yeah. like it looks like brick. Like the size and shape of bird. I can't remember. You know what? Well, Google Earth. Well, that's. I know you have to pull it up on my phone. I'll let you do that. <laughs> What's the address on Berry Street? 37. leave it natural you don't want to paint it because the paint will fall off the brick with right. between the salt and the weather and right. everything right. else right. so that just stays there right you go. <laughs> what would we do without google right yeah. <laughs> i use it every day i know i know we all do <laughs> it's like paint some people love any it, other <laughs> comments questions suggestions or no? so you mentioned the window buttons right mm -hmm. You're not painting them because they're um, they're white now. But are right. they metal I, or are they? They wood? they are clad. They're clad. They're okay. clad. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So they don't need to. They certainly don't need to. Be, I mean, we do sometimes, but I think in this case, they decided not to. Yeah. I'm just curious. Yeah. No, they're clad. So Twenty years, you get a chance. So again, I'll read down through the criteria, preservation or reconstruction of the appropriate historic style of the proposed projects in the historic district that involves an historic structure, acceptable harmony of exterior design, acceptable compatibility of proposed exterior materials with other properties in the district, acceptable compatibility of proposed landscaping, not proposed. Prevention of the use of incompatible designs, buildings, color schemes, or exterior materials, acceptable. Location and appearance of all utilities, no change in utilities, not applicable in the application. Recognition of and respect for view quarters and significant vistas, including gateway views of the city and state house, acceptable. All in favor of the proposed change, raise your hand. Second. All in favor of the minutes, raise your hand. The minutes are approved. Does anybody have anything else to add, or do I hear a motion to adjourn? I'll move that one too. And I'll second that second. All in favor of adjournment, raise your hand. Meeting is adjourned.